Here, why do you want the desk by the window, Small? Well, I don't want it for fresh air. I'm going to sit there so I can chuck ink balls on the townies. I shall make it my duty to inform the headmaster. Yes, you do and I'll scrag you. You try. During the holidays, I've had lessons in the noble art of self-defence, so there. Where are you going to sit this time, Darcy? I shall retain my own desk. It is an excellent position for seeing the blackboard. Yeah, listen to what a Darcy. Who wants to see the blooming blackboard? We all anyway? know you don't. Cheek, eh? I'm an off you in ten minutes. Come on, out of it. Out of the... Oh, good morning, boys. Good morning, morning, sir. Well, we need to start lessons with a will. Why, are you going to make yours? <laughs> make my what? Make your will. Listen, I don't refer to last will and testament. Smart, I'm talking about the conscious mental effort to profit by my teaching. Oh, jolly good, sir. What's jolly good? That explanation, sir. Oh, thank you, Darcy. Thank you. I've been reading those encyclopedias you let me in during the holidays. They're very interesting, too. <laughs> well, pay attention. Now, the first lesson, we'll take algebra. Now, what, uh, what do you know about algebra? Who knows what it is? Please, sir. Yes, Beckett. I've seen one, sir, but I don't know what it is. You've seen one? Yes, sir. Oh. I've heard of people seeing pink elephants, but I... Uh, <laughs> I never... What does it look like? Please, sir. It had stripes. Stripes? Yes, sir. You're uh, not thinking of a sergeant, are you? <laughs> no, sir. This had more than three stripes, sir. And it had long ears like a donkey. Oh, that sounds like you, smart, doesn't it? <laughs> what are you talking about, Vicky? Stripes and long ears like a donkey? Where did you see this? Please, sir. At the zoo, sir. The zoo? Algebra at the zoo. Yes. I know what he means. Yeah? He means a zebra. Yes, sir. Isn't that what you said, sir? No, 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 no. I said algebra. It's a very different thing altogether. Algebra is, uh... uh oh, well, it's, uh... <laughs> anybody like to show the picket what algebra is? Certainly, sir. I would. Yeah, I hoped you. I mean, I thought you would. Uh... <laughs> well, carry on, Darcy. Carry with, on. With pleasure, sir. Yeah. Algebra is a method of calculation which, reduced to its simplest terms, substitutes alphabetical symbols for known and unknown quantities, and thus enables us, by a series of equations, to reduce the actual numerical content of the unknown quantity, which is generally denoted by the alphabetical letter X. In other words... Yeah, well, never mind about the other words, now. <laughs> You've used quite enough words as it is. So that's, uh, that's algebra, is it? Yes, sir. And I've been teaching it all this time and didn't know. That's it. <laughs> I'm cleverer than I thought. Oh, yeah? Uh, what do you mean, oh, yeah? Well, if you're so clever, why do you always correct Darcy's book first? Why do I correct Darcy's book first? <laughs> yes, come on, we know. Well, uh, well, if you know, there's no need for me to tell you, is there? Ah, oh, now, don't try to wriggle out of it. I'm not trying to wriggle out of it. Oh, anymore. yes, you are. Not at all. You must know I correct Darcy's book first because, uh, Well... Well, because he happens to be sitting nearest to me, that's all. It's quite a natural thing to do, isn't it? Yes, I don't think. You correct his book first because that's the only way you can get to know the answer. <laughs> that's absolute piffle. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't, and I can prove it. Oh, can you? Next time, you take my book first and Darcy's last. I don't think you should accuse the headmaster of cribbing, Smart. No. After all, I'm not always right. Well, blimey, when you're not, we all pay for it. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, just what do you mean by that? Well, I shan't forget when you said there were 772 pounds in a underweight just because Darcy's figure said so. Got nothing at all to do with Darcy. Oh, no? 772 pounds is the correct answer. That's what Darcy put and he was right. Excuse me, sir, but I did not put 772. I wrote down the correct answer, which is 112. And I must admit that my ones, when, when glanced at quickly, do look rather like sevens. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, well, uh, in that case... Just uh, a moment, just a moment. Yeah. What did you write down, Darcy? One, one, two. Oh, blimey, that's what I wrote down, too. And you mark my paper all wrong, you dirty rotter. That proves it. Not at all. It's a perfectly simple explanation. 
Instead of calculating in avoirdupois, I, I was calculating in Troy weight. Yeah. <laughs> Troy and avoirdupois. You don't know the meaning of the word. I certainly do. Troy weight was invented by uh, Helen of Troy. <laughs> and uh, avoirdupois comes from three French words. Avoir to have, do, of the, and poire. Uh, <laughs> poire, uh, peas. <laughs> Peas? Yeah. Why peas? Well, because uh, in the reign of Louis the Fourteenth, they used peas as weights. Eh? So many peas to the uh, to the magnet. Please, sir. Yes. What is it? Please, sir. What did they do in the winter? <laughs> what did who do in the winter? The shop. Keepers, sir. Well, what do you mean? What did they do? They didn't shut up, if that's what you mean. No, sir. I mean, what did the shopkeepers do, sir? They'd be out of season in the winter. What are you talking about? Shopkeepers don't go out of season at all. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. I mean the peas, sir. Uh, oh, the peas. Oh, well, uh, they use tin peas then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But please, sir, yeah. wouldn't tins of peas weigh much heavier, sir? Oh, God. Well, let's let, let, uh, let them out of the tins and you shut up. Keep quiet. <laughs> now, uh, tell me, Darcy, what did you do during the holidays? Did you go to the pantomime? Oh, dear me, no, sir. No? I spent many happy moments jotting down a few animadversions on the quantum theory. And then, purely as relaxation, I broke down the colour bands of the spectrum and reduced them to their respective primaries. It was quite amusing. Yes. <laughs> yes, I should think it'd be much more amusing than the pantomime. Well, now, for today's lesson, we'll take a problem. Yes, I've got one. Yeah, oh, really, smart, eh? <laughs> Well, let's hear it. Now, listen carefully, boy. Oh, you never mind them. You listen carefully. This is going to take all your brains. Yes, well, I am listening. Come on. Well, a man's on one side of a river yes. with a basket of cabbages, a goat and an hyena. Yeah, a what? A hyena. Now, hyena. he wants to take the goat and the... Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's, what's, he, um, what's he doing with a hyena? I don't know. He's on the bank of the river with a goat, a basket of cabbages and a hyena. And he wants to get to the other side. Well, I think he does, too. <laughs> so would I have had a hyena. Nasty things, hyenas. No, they? no, you don't understand. He wants to take the hyena and the goat and the cabbages with him. No, but I can understand he wanted to take the goat and the cabbages, but I can't think why he wants to bother with a hyena. Please, sir. Yes, Becky. What is a hyena, sir? Uh, oh, dear. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, well, a hyena is a sort of, uh, it's a similar th uh, thing to the, um, um, oh, you must have seen one in the zoo when you saw that algebra thing. They, uh, <laughs> they keep them in the same cage. Uh, it's, uh, you, you mean a laughing hyena, of course, don't you? Listen, Mark? it doesn't matter if it was a laughing or a crying hyena. What does matter is that he wants to take the goat, the cabbages and the hyena over the river. Yeah. But he's only got a boat big enough to take one thing at a time. Uh, now, how does he take them all over? One at a time, if you said so. All right, clever dick. Which does he take first? Well, I don't see any matters. For the sake of argument, I suppose he takes the cabbages. What, and leaves the hyena and the goat on the other side? I suppose so. In that case, sir, the hyena will eat the goat. Uh, oh, well, all right. Let him take the hyena first. Well, well, then the goat will eat the cabbages. Well, let him take the goat over first. I mean, the hyena won't eat the cabbages. Even I know that. Very well. You know, you're going to get yourself into such a mess in a minute. What does he take next? Uh, the cabbages. No, sir. In that eventuality, the goat will devour the cabbages while he returns for the hyena. And should he take the hyena over, the same thing will happen. Well, does this fellow know all this? Of course he does. <laughs> and he sure wants to get him across? Definitely. Please, sir. Yes? Why don't they go round by the bridge? <laughs> the bridge? Yes, sir. Is the uh, bridge smart? No. Oh. Then, please, sir, yeah. how do all the others get across? What others? Well, the ones who haven't got a boat, sir. But, uh, look, Becky, don't bring anybody else into this. <laughs> We've got quite enough trouble with goats and hyenas. Well, come on, come on. Haven't you got it well, yet? Well, don't rush me, don't rush me. I'll get it. I wish I had Alfie's model Noah's art. I could work it out with the models. <laughs> <laughs> 
Naturally, sir, the yes? problem is very simple. Oh. It cannot be stated in mathematical terms, as it is in point of fact an exercise in pure logic. Uh, oh, it can't be stated in mathematical terms. Ah, uh, that's trouble. Yeah, I was, uh... Listen, <laughs> chap. Yes? Don't you see that you've got to get them across so that the hyena can't eat the goat or the goat eat the cabbage? I know, I know all about it. Have you worked it out? Well, of course I have. Well, what do you make of it? Well... He takes the goat over first, returns for the hyena. Laughing hyena. All right, the laughing hyena, which he leaves on the other side. Yeah. Are you uh, are you whispering to him? Oh, no, sir. Oh, no. He takes the goat back with him and takes the cabbages over. Yeah. Then he returns alone for the goat, yeah. see? Yeah. Yes, I see. It's a very good attempt. What yeah. do you mean, good? It's perfect. Well, it's not quite smart. It's very good, but you've forgotten one thing. What's that? Of the coat. Oh, no, I never. He takes the goat over last. I didn't say the goat. I said the coat. What coat? Ah, you see, I'll explain. <laughs> you see, he took the goat over first and then rode back again, didn't he? Yes. Then he took the hyena over and brought the goat back with him. Is that Please, right? sir, yes. what for, yes. sir? Oh, let me... <laughs> because he can't leave both the hyena and the goat together on the other side. Don't interrupt me. But now, by now, he's very warm. Yes, you're yeah. getting a bit hot, too. Yes. <laughs> yes, well, you shut up, will you? Where was I, Darcy? You're back on this side with the goat and the cabbages, having left the hyena on the other side. Oh, yes, that's right, yes. Well, now, as I was saying, he's feeling very warm, so he takes his coat off and lays it on the back. Next, he takes the cabbages over to the other side and leaves them with the laughing hyena, and he rows back. All he has to do now is to take the goat across, which he does, and the job is done. Simple. Ah, there's just one thing you've forgotten, Mr. Cleverknob. Oh, what's that? The very thing you said I'd forgotten. Oh? His coat. His coat? Yes. Uh -huh. According to you, he left his coat on the bank. Now you've got him on the other side with the cabbages, the goat and the laughing hyena. Well, how's he going to get his coat? Well, he just sewed back for it, that's all. Yeah, but in that case, he must have left the goat, the cabbages and the laughing hyena all together. That's right, he did. Yes, but, but the goat would have eaten the cabbages. It did. And the hyena would have eaten the goat. It did. Well, so all he had left was the hyena. That's right. That's what the hyena was laughing about. Ring the bell for me. 